No, I shouldn't have had one more game. It's Nos. <laughs> Don't tell me it's Space Cadet. It's not. It's I'm Von Ars. Everyone who plays Nos in real it's life Von just beat them to an inch of their fucking Stein. life. That's his name. Von Ars Stein. He's got 13 men. He's got a Yeti and a Mighty Bloat. He's 1-1-0. One, one, oh. Can we get him banned from CCL, please? And then just get me a... Get me a... Get me a concession win. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Game over, man. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty weird, isn't it? There's no point half assing a meme team, is there? He's on zero. I guess we should do like some kind of formation. Like this to make the frenzy more of an issue for him. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Oh, it should have been Jeremy Corbyn, shouldn't he? That would have been perfect for uh, the Yeti. It <laughs> could have been Jeremy Corbyn. Bit weak, bit weak against the uh, quick snap in it, but fuck it. Nine, he's got thirteen men. So he's got to play normal blood ball, haven't he? He's got to play a good blood ball. Don't uh, don't engage too much. Chasing cars, just treat them like a real team. That's got to dice the living fuck out of you. And hope that they don't dice the living fuck out of you. I really don't feel like I play badly or tilt against Norse. I just think they are high variants, they do well against me. Yeah, you could struggle if you get some bad rolls. I imagine if he just failed the pick up there. 
because it's got all these juicy hits on. Whatever you're gonna do, do it today, mate. <laughs> Do we hit the Yeti here? It's it's relatively easy to hit the Yeti. Nothing. Maybe shouldn't have hit him. That one D gets us a two D, which is good, isn't it? Or not? Well, because the Yeti is a big way to get in the game, isn't it, against Armour armor 9? So I thought trying to take out his Yeti was good. I hit as many people, I hit as quite a lot of people, didn't I? Hit as many people as I could. <laughs> Literally two max blocks. Oh my god, I knew we'd get the armor break. God, I hate Norse. Literally fucking hate Norse. I thought he was going to follow over there, that we wouldn't just be able to punch him back for free, but no. Not only did he not follow, his basing has got my guy fucking cast. I'm going to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. Oh, I hate Norse. I just fucking hate them. Nothing. 
So I genuinely hate them. The plan is to is to mass base contact and out Kaz the guy who's got armor nine. <laughs> like it's just stupid, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, forgive fuck. I got bloody uh, lizards. Hey, go down to one reroll. The old five plus dodge. Oh god. God I hate did I mention that I hate Norse? <laughs> His reward for that five plus dodge is of course a stun. <laughs> Good. 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 Maybe I should do a six plus dodge to make this a one D, eh? Jesus Christ. Uh, this is the third game, Masters then. This is the third game. Do we go for the ball? Make two GFIs for the assist and then a dodge double GFI to hit him. And if it works, then he's unlikely to score, isn't he? It's 
see what happens with this block first, I guess. It is a power, so that option is there. Could always do the GFIs, and if either one fails, then could change, change plans and blitz this guy and run around to threaten the stall. Frenzies are quite far away, away, aren't they? He's got the Berserker and the Yeti. Right, this is pretty good then for the 2D on the ball. Oh, could go around this way. This is better, isn't it? You can even see that. That's that's way better. Because then the runner doesn't die. Push direction isn't as good or anything, but... The runner not dying on failure was nice. Oh, that scatter as well. Lovely jubbly. Right. <laughs> Good. Not against a claw guy, no necropotents. No, don't wanna. He's going for the scatter. They could have just like lost him the game, I guess. I guess it could have won him the game if it, if it's got it there. He could have just gone and picked it up. <laughs> right. I guess it's time for a wandy. Did I do anything clever? Probably not. I could put him in there and then 2D him. And 2D him. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Getting all the armor breaks here on these supposedly armor seven characters. 
The standing up, he just gets easily surfed, doesn't he? I guess not that easily. He'd have to 1D here. Or like 1D surf him. He'd 1D surf him, then stand up and 2D him. I think it's worth keeping him occupied. What about a block there? Probably because he's got the dodge out, hasn't he? Got the rerolls. Go for the one D. Good. Nice. It's hard for him to get there. It's not hard for him to get there. But it's a three plus. Was a skull. It's not three plus. A double score here, it's terrible. A pushing, it's worse, so let's not push him. And let's not score here. I didn't know I was going to KO him. <laughs> um. So I had to keep him based, didn't I? Yeah, but he could have blocked. He could have blocked the blocked the other dwarf away, couldn't he? I guess he could have dodged anyway, but still. Oh, he's just blitzing with a yeti. Beautiful. It's pink. Attends, que tu? C'est mi portion pleine de poils au bruit ballon. Right, not terrible. I really wish I'd got the knockdown on him. Reroll's gone, isn't it? That makes it a four plus. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, two, five. That makes it a four plus three plus. This is good enough, isn't it? What about this? One, two, three, four, five, six, G5, G5. So this makes it a five plus four plus three plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. This is actually probably worth a G5 then, isn't it? calculation and no he can't reach he can't he could have been chained right if I didn't dodge him he could have just punched him and chained him forward oh, 
C'est un coup à se faire pousser dans la foule. La dernière fois que j'ai fait ça, c'était trois jours pour reconstituer le corps. Oh, il va tâcher du fan de plus près. J'espère pour lui. Interesting. He's got no reroll. As if he's gonna make this. Wow. <laughs> oh, what a dirty motherfucker. Wow, and did the wrong thing of not tagging him as well. Outrageous. I kind of need the knockdown though. Good lad. I guess I just blitz with the ball carrier. That might save us a GFR nightmare. Didn't save us a GFR. Oh my god, I can't believe he did the 3-3-2 three, three, without a reroll and I just couldn't make a fucking two dice block to score. Motherfucker. God, I hate Norse. God, I fucking hate Norse. I want to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. All felt is good though, isn't it? So he's down in quality, if not down in numbers. He's essentially down 160 TV now, because this guy ain't doing anything on the bench either, is he? But I guess I'm down 100 as well. God, that was so annoying, wasn't it? Like, he literally did an extra 3+. plus. That meant he might not have got a tackle zone on at all, just to make an extra GFI if I didn't if I didn't fucking that is simply get him not out of the true. way. It was ridiculous. The data does not support like I could have just powered him and then it wouldn't have made any difference. That's just fucking crazy, man. What a crazy bad decision. Which, yes, if you listen to Dio, you should be happy that your opponent's making a bad decision. Because in the long run you'll profit but you know you'll fucking profit you're not stupid don't you you fucking know <laughs> that in the long run you'll profit <laughs> so it's kind of a stupid it's a very stupid uh very stupid ideas that dio has <laughs> Should still be all right, shouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, he did it with a good player, didn't he? Unless it's a thrower. Well, I think it could be a thrower, but it's sure, it's sure hands guy he did it with. Not only did he not base the correct player, he, he didn't get sent off for the terrible foul. He's got a throw of all that.
done a bit of an Artemis here. Luckily, luckily he doesn't have a war dancer. <laughs> Unbelievably, he doesn't blitz with frenzy in, in the guy there. Outrageous. <laughs> no, Tony, no. No, Sar Armor 11, you know. People people spread this vicious room, rumor that they're Armor 7, but everyone knows they're not. I don't know why people, people continue to lie. They're Arch 4, Armor 11. They're pretty annoying to play against. armor break on a nose. What are the chances? I might have left a hit on the ball here, but in a way I kind of hope I have because it's going to be a lot of dice and it's not going to be easy. And it means he's not blitzing for like proper defense, is he? Get to hit him back, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you know, they, they they are rowdy, aren't they, and stuff. Like, they've got plenty of frenzy and claw and mighty blow and stuff. Like, they're not a completely inept team. But it sure doesn't feel great any time you lose to them. <laughs> Four for you this turn. Oh, and an armor break. Right, he's very cleverly five squares away. Get in here. And he can push him back. Ooh, 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 that'll teach him. Oh, yes, another one. Great stuff. Le ballon est en sécurité. À l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. <laughs> Can't fucking remove anyone. Obviously going near the sidelines is a bit risky versus Norse, but when you don't fucking remove anybody in 11 turns... And he's got two reserves, so... It's a little bit unfair, but still. Good. Oh, bastard. <laughs> Necrophone. You know what happens if I fall. I guess he's just going to make an instant cast though for this foul. 
this obvious foul that's coming in is just going to cause it does doesn't it Chug yeah it's because the first game was a an early concession wasn't it God, he seems really slow as well, doesn't he? Didn't foul outrageously. Oh, -ho! broke armor. Call. Sure, it doesn't save him his first here in case of the quaddies, but we're all right. Indeed help, yeah, that's something people need to remember, isn't it? Just don't roll shit. It's the number one rule of Blood Bowl. Three, four, five, six, nine, he's way behind. Definitely can come up here. Probably try and push forward, shouldn't I? Soon. Only four turns left. It's been hard though without getting any removals. Without enough guard to or strength to hit the head easily. I'm surprised at that. I would have totally put that guy there, right? And then he could have punched this one. You get a fucking Yeti hit if you push him. But he didn't care about that. Will he foul this turn? Kind of hoping he will and get sent off for it. He's pretty good odds of getting sent off, isn't if he does the foul. <laughs> yeah, he is giving us the Yeti's yeah, ass, yeah. As tempting as it is to put the guard in and blitz him and block him, I think we've got to go the other way and leave these two, well, these four a bit isolated, isn't it, and push up as, uh, as far as possible. Let's 
se battre à 1 contre 11 Good. Et ceux qui roulent dans les orbites, ça ne trompe pas. Il va rester dans les vapes un bout de temps. And go for the one. Oh, well, maybe not, because then he's got to bring a guy there, and then it's a two, but then this is a two. Whereas if this is a push, even, then he's got to do exactly the same thing. But if it's a pow, then he's fucked. Go on. Okay, so that, that wasn't terrible. <laughs> so yeah, he abandons, abandons ship over there. 3v3, but could always swing back over there as well. This kind of sucked that he had the push in the more blocks. But what else could I do? <laughs> What's he fucking playing at here? <laughs> Really want to surf the Yeti, but maybe he just should ignore it now. Oh, well, I'll definitely have to now. Look what he's done here. What else? abandoned oh my god GFI Two, three, four, five. Oh. I've got a GFI, that's the only bad thing. There's no real way of getting around that. I guess I could go one further back, and then I don't have to GFI. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? That's okay. There's still two turns left. Strengthens this so it makes it out of the base. Uphill the Yeti. Could have surfed the Yeti. Boohoo! Ce 
joueurs préfèrent se battre entourés. Ah, uh, frickin' elves. <laughs> frickin' elves. <laughs> Fully expected the quads then, after doing a random move first instead of a safe move. Should have just got into scoring range, shouldn't I? One, two, three, four, five, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, or here. Can't get even get in this coin range. Hélas, le match est toujours au point mort. Didn't realize he was based. That was pretty dumb. Maybe I should have done the GFI last turn. Nah, I still needed the cage there first for that reroll. seen the right play. He could have just hit the ball then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, J5, J5. Very sloppy. I shouldn't have followed up. That was definitely his best chance, in my opinion, was to dodge double J5 hit. Once again, this is exactly like the first half, in that he's making every fucking dice roll under the sun to fucking move his defence there, and I'm just going to fail the fucking two plus to score, aren't I? <laughs> Cross one. Go blitz dodge. That's kind of like a one day anyway, right? So just the blitz dodge is probably the best way. Unless something could happen with like. I don't think I can do any kind of fancy chains or anything. I think the only play is Blitz Dodge. Best to not think about it too much. Le 
tant que personne C'est très dangereux Bien vu Ça va être le porteur du ballon Oh my god, same as first time. Phew. <laughs> that would have been really annoying to have rolled three ones on GFIs to score. <laughs> it was already annoying enough. Fuck off! It was already annoying enough rolling two out of three, but rolling three out of three would have been horrendous, wouldn't it? <laughs> no chip five. On time is like 15 minutes late, isn't it? So it's all right. We got plenty of time. Gotta do the odd. Uh, gotta do a little bit of setting up as well for for uh, double double E. We'll start about ten past or something, which is pretty much on time. <laughs> We're not shit, are we? So we'll start around nine. I mean, it looks like it, doesn't it help? I mean, Tony's the fucking man. Tony is the absolute. The absolute uh, greatest of all time. Oh, it's a pointless bribe. Pointless bloody bribe. <laughs> yeah, it does remind me. No, I think he knew. <laughs> Who's in commentary? Oh, brilliant. Just a stun. Hello, Scuro. I probably won't be able to hear you, right, because of the headphones. Probably, probably can't hear you. Right, well, that was a good win, wasn't it? I mean, it probably should have been 2 0, but. Hello! Hello! Oh, of course I can hear you because it was shit last time, wasn't it? Yes. Right, glorious. Um, Alright. 60k winnings. MVP for Muppet. Lovely. Got out armor broke by the uh, armor 17. <laughs> out, out armor broke. Yeah, <laughs> that's the technical term. His armor was 73%, mine was 75%. I mean, fuck off. <laughs> he just literally had dwarf armor for that match. Absolute disgrace. Right, runner gets block. And team looks alright. And off to a lovely start, 3 0. Glorious. Right, thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.